Today's case is the letter Y in the Chinese pinyin system. To keep things simple, I'll be using the English names for the spelling letters. However, because there isn't an English counterpart for the Chinese vowel letter Yu, I will be using its Chinese name for this letter. In Chinese pinyin, Y is not a consonant letter, as the English speakers would assume, nor a vowel letter as the French speakers would imagine, and it's not even classified as an initial or a final in Chinese pinyin itself. Then why we still see this so often in pinyin? Here's why. When a final starting with the letter I or U forms a syllable without a consonant initial, the letter Y is being used. When it comes to the final starting with I, we can further divide them into two groups. The first group, I is followed by another vowel letter. In this situation, the letter I is changed to be written as Y. The second group, I is not followed by another vowel letter. In this situation, an extra Y is added in the beginning. As for the final starting with U, whether it's followed by a vowel letter or not, we add an extra Y in front, meanwhile omitting the SM umlauts, the two dots of the letter U. Okay, that explains why we get to see the letter Y so often in pinyin. Now I would like to suggest looking at the same issue from another angle. When we see the letter Y, how we should pronounce it? I sum it up into three situations. Situation one, Y is silent. All of these syllables are formed by adding an extra Y in the beginning. That's why it's silent. Respectively, they are pronounced as E, in, ying, yu, Yuan, Yun. Situation two, Y is pronounced as the semi vowel, Y. All of these syllables are formed by changing the letter I to Y. And since the original I is pronounced as Y in these syllables, Naturally, the Y that replaces it is also pronounced as Y. Respectively, the above syllables are pronounced as Ya, Ye, Yao, Yo, Yen, Yang. A sign note here, if you're not sure how to pronounce the semi-vowel, Y. You could check out the link in the description. Situation three, there is only one syllable in this situation, which is Y-O-N-G. When I-O-N-G forms a syllable without a consonant initial, it's written as Y-O-N-G. Inheriting the pronunciation of I-O, Y-O combination is pronounced as U, the whole syllable is pronounced as yong. If you're not sure how to pronounce the vowel sound yu, you could check out the link in the description. I know I mentioned earlier, strictly speaking, why it's not an initial in Chinese speaking. However, if your eyes and brain see it better when it's considered as an initial, then just do it. That's how they teach the Chinese kids in the primary schools as well. Which means in practice, we can firstly think of Y as a regular letter, then choose to pronounce it accordingly in one of the three ways I listed here in this episode. Now you have it. This is your Chinese case consultant, Triple C. Bring me a case by asking me a question. If I open your case, I will close it for you.